Hello everyone, and welcome to your daily dose of spiritual vitamin with me by me. I've been so busy here, I'm sweating, I'm working, I'm in the process of making changes in my life. But today, on the 20th of July, I felt led to bring a vitamin, a little chit chat if you and today the Spirit of God wants me to talk about the luminaries. And the minute I'm about to come out these clothes, because Bonnie is over here, and she has to get a little cool. So if you'll excuse me for one minute, I'll get a little more comfortable and I'll be right back. Thank you for your patience. I was getting over here I had to come up with some stuff. Okay. Alright, so, since today has been a very prosperous day, on this journey of enlightenment and understanding, the Spirit of God wants me to teach on the Illuminaries. The Illuminaries. Before we teach, we'll go before the throne of grace. And we'll pray. And talk to the Father. And we're going to get into the Illuminaries. Because we got a full moon coming on the 23rd of this month. And give them knowledge on the buck moon. It's on its way. Draw me prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before the throne of grace to tell you thank you. Thank you, Father God, for an opportunity to come and share your word and knowledge and understanding. Father God, I ask that you bless all those within the sound of my voice, that they may be enlightened and learn on your spiritual path as they grow in you and in self-awareness. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, I'm going to talk about the Illuminaris. My little pro handicap glasses here. Packing stuff up and I can't find my glasses. Okay, right now we're going to discuss the laws of the Illuminaris. And this comes from 1 Enoch, section 3, chapter 72. First Enoch, chapter three, chapter section three, chapter seventy-two. First Enoch. First of all, we're going to discuss the sun, the sun's energy. The sun is known as masculine energy. The sun rises in the eastern portals, and it sets in the western portals. There are six portals in which the sun rises. And there are six portals in which the sun sets and the moon rises. Six portals. Now, there are leaders of the stars and those whom they lead. So, in the family of the Illuminaries, there are star systems and galaxies. These are those whom they lead. There are six in the east and six in the west, all following each other in perfect order. So, there are six portals. That the sun rises up then, disappears, go through another portal. Rises up in the portal, goes through a portal. Rises up in that portal. And it does this because, well we'll get into that. But there are many windows in these portals. So, in your mind's eye, you've got to see the portals and you got to see the windows. 
Okay. The first, there goes the great illuminati. His name is the sun. His circumference is that circumference of the heaven. He's filled quite with illuminating fire or heat. The chariot on which he ascends is the wind. And, uh, and he drives the sun down from heaven. So you have to see the sun in the chariot. And the chariot that is driving the sun from heaven is the wind. And it's driving it into the corner. And it goes down from the heaven and it returns through the north in order to reach the east. So the sun takes this journey constantly. It'll rise up into the heavens and the wind will carry it from the north and bring it back to the east. So it doesn't rise and set as we thought. For things are merely illusions. For God has it set up for the sun to come in and out of these portals so that it can continuously come up for 30 days in synchronicities. There are portals, there are six suns in our galaxy called Earth. And God has set it up for our sun to go through these portals. Now we see the sun sitting there and we think that it's the rotation of the planet. And in this galaxy, God has set up these portals. In our solar system of planets that are out here, the cosmos, God has set up that divine portal. Every day they are discovering how this divine order is done and the fact that we are cosmic energy. Today there was the birth of a child. Her birth child. On this very day, at the very moment in which she was born, it had already determined her successes. It had already determined her personality, how she would behave in certain situations. Your birth charts are predictive tools. Our sun, our moons, all of our energy. Because I created a birth chart for the newborn baby. And all of our energy, when we use it with the key chart, gives us aspects of ourselves. It tells us what degree, whether it's conjunct, whether it's trim, whether it's square, all of these things mean something in your makeup and personality of who you are. For there are 12 consistencies of man, just like there are 12 astrological birth signs. We are more than just mere dirt. We have cosmic energy. They are discovering now the thing that God told us in the book of knowledge. The fact that he breathed life into man. We know that he is the eternal life. The one true source of life. And from him we were all created. And into each of us 
there is a piece of cosmic dust which is the breath of God and that breath of God in each of us is our souls and that is the reason why when we pass from this place that's why you have to understand that you are a spiritual being having human experiences you are star seeds you come from the galaxy when you were born your specific time this child was born at 10:42 a.m. today her son is a cancer her moon is a Sagittarius so for her to hit this atmosphere God had already determined that her milk note was going to be a Gemini that her air energy her way of communication would be her success God had already put in her her 12 consistencies her 12 traits personalities aspects conjunct trees squares God in his infinite knowledge and giving her her assignment for this hemisphere for her to be born at 10.42 a.m. at her appointed destination God and the angels who wrote down her information have a record just like this of every aspect of this child everything she's going to accomplish everything she has the ability to accomplish there is a written record how many degrees it was when she hit the planet where the orbit was how many degrees was that orbit was it trained was it conjunct what was going on in the planetary system when Ariella hit that's how God operates and that's how he operated for each one of us each one of us have a birth chart each one of us has a north node, a south node, a lilith each one of us has an area of passion each one of us has an area that we will excel each one of us in our birth chart is the ability to dictate things about us. Hold on for one minute. Sorry about that. But the birth chart gives key information. And that's the reason why where the sun is, your lunar system. Your lunar system tells whether or not you were born when the gibbous moon, half quarter moon, half moon, full moon. These things determine your moon energy, how you will operate your emotions, whether or not you will start and release. There are many consciousness of man that God has created. He teaches us how to tap into our true authentic selves and how to tap into that power that helps you become the best you that you can possibly be. Each of us have hidden gifts that God has placed in us. And this is the map to your hidden gifts. Your birth charts. Today I put this baby's birth chart together so that we could see based on her time of birth day, which is today. I went in and I charted what God has planned for her. 
because it was there for me to try. He provided me with what I needed. I had to go in, get it, and understand how these things work together. And just like each of you, based on where the planetary alignments were when you were born, there were certain things that you were destined to do. Your greatness. Some of us were destined to be inventors. Some of us were destined to be readers. Some of us were destined to be teachers. Some of us were destined to be entrepreneurs. We were all destined for certain things in our lives based upon the astrological chart and how it comes together for you. Because you have 12 aspects. You have 12 parts that make up who you are. The consciousness of man. Each of us unique and individual. Each of us different. based on the time. There might have been 10 babies born at 10 forward. Then two more at 10 forward. Then one more at 10 You see? Every minute of every day there is life. There is a new angel who descends upon this planet who has a job that is to be fulfilled. And each of us who are already here, as we wake up our consciousness and understand that from the pineal gland on the records or from whence we came, when you begin to understand your consistencies and who you are, you can easier reach your destination. We do, there will always be that group of people who will try to stop you. There will always be that group of people who will have something to say. But we all have a birth chart. And in their birth charts, it tells their personalities how they behave, what to expect from them what their south nodes are, what their north nodes are, their areas of excelling. But when you are busy in low vibrational energy, and you cannot overcome your lessons, and you cannot graduate in order to reach your greatest potential and success. People get left behind a long time. It's just whether or not you want to stand in your true authenticity. It's whether or not you want to walk in the path that God has designed for you. It's a choice. Do you want to learn about who you are? And the world? And knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Or you just want to be like everybody else? And know what In life we all get choices. First step is discovering who you are. Get your birth charts. Look at where you came from. Look at what the universe wants to give to you. The gifts that are hidden within you. And like I said, if you can't tap them, Bonnie, we can. Just reach out. I'll teach you how to read it. I'll show you how to get it. And know that home. Because in discovering through your birth charts, you'll be amazed at the things and the possibilities that you can birth just within yourself. So, today at the Bonnie Bee, I want you to understand that there are six portals that the sun travels through. And every portal is lined with portals. 
and the sun graduates in and out of these corners. Goes out one portal when it hits the and it sets. Goes through a portal and comes in out another one. It's going through portals. One is to believe it's strong. So there's a reason that God has made the moon and the sun. He says they are at the same size. Because they draw energy one from another. Aspects of the sun in your mind. Masculine and feminine energy. We all have it. We all have a sun sign. That's our masculine energy. We all have a moon sign. That's our feminine energy. Come on. Join by me. Learn some stuff. If you enjoy the teachings and you want to know more, come on back to the boundary. Get some more out here. And start learning more about the aspects of who we are. And start putting some birth charts. If you don't know how, get in touch with me. I'll help you. And we can put birth charts. We can help you discover your North Node. We can help you discover where you excel. And I can help you discover who you really are. The question is, do you want to know? Till then, God be blessed. If you like what I got to give, hit the button, come on back, subscribe. I'll drop some more knowledge on you. Because the spirit is having me so many things. I've studied about the luminary. I've studied about the Bible. I've studied... Oh, my Lord. The Lord is having me so much stuff. But the luminaries, the spirits, we've been talking. we got stuff they want to talk about. We'll get into that later. And, um, yeah. um, pull your back I'll be blessed. Until the next time. Don't buy me dear. And I thank you. For sending a minute to have a spiritual bite.